Thank you. An update now to a story we first brought you at five Bowling Green police charging a 17 year old high school student with rape. Police building that charge based off evidence they compiled through Snapchat. Our Amy Steigerwall live in studio to update us on how police are now using social media to help them with this case. Amy. Yeah, Andrew, so we know that social media is becoming more useful for members of law enforcement. Now, specifically in this case, it really puts into perspective how much information they are able to get their hands on, specifically in connection to this charge. Now, that teen charged with rape and the evidence came directly from Snapchat. Investigators at the Bowling Green Police Department are crediting social media for charges in two separate cases. A 17 year old BG High School male student has been arrested and charged with underage consumption and rape, along with two other adults for hosting parties with underage drinking. Uh, arrests were made uh, of adults in both incidents uh, for hosting the party and then a juvenile male was arrested for the sexual assault. Police say the rape charge comes from what they found on Snapchat. Detectives conducted search warrants for that and other social media accounts of those who were at both parties and were able to obtain videos, photos, and text chats from the alleged incident. They document their locations and the, their activities. And so if you're investigating a certain type of criminal activity, um, a lot of times you'll find that on their social media accounts, them documenting, giving you evidence that they're actually involved in that type of activity. Right now, there are still some pending charges against other juveniles who attended the party where the alleged rape occurred. Police say these types of cases serve as a sharp reminder that anything put on social media can be traced. Now, I'm told this incident involved multiple Bowling Green High School students. The Bowling Green School District is not commenting on these charges because the alleged incident happened outside school hours and boundaries. Live in studio tonight, Amy Stagerwald, WTOL 11.